Okay. Whew, I'll take a sip too. Because that's what n- normal people would do. Come on, say something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Give me the worst podcast you've ever heard. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Out of Character Podcast. This episode might be a little bit different, not only because I'm announcing the podcast for some reason. Stop, stop. This is a high episode. Is that how I should say it? 420 episode. Yeah, this is so bad. I don't even know if this is going to go up. That's what it is. You just have to commit. All right. Also, secret is 421. (laughs) Oh, yeah, it's the day after 420. (laughs) This is so fucking stupid. (laughs) It's the day after 420, so it's 421, yes. This is like a punishment, by the way. This is not fun. I feel like this is like a punishment. Yeah, it doesn't feel like we should be doing this, but it's fine. We've already, we have to just commit to it. Look, the funny thing about the fact that we're doing this on 421 and not 420 is... Now this is just like, oh, you're just stoners. Like on 420, it's like, oh, you guys are just having fun for the podcast, smoking. No, we got in the no, elevator. No, we're the day after, and it's like 2 p.m. We got the, we got in the elevator after we smoked, and all I can think is like, I would die laughing if I smell a dude in the elevator a day late, <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. No, the, the whole act of doing it is like, we just look like, oh, yeah, you just smoke regularly. Yeah, that's okay. People do that. Just, I've never done it with this much daylight out. I've There's people never, who go earlier, wake is, and, it's called wake and bake, do you know that? It's noon, that's, this is so wrong. Dude, there's people that wake up, grab from the side of their bed, they just open the little bedside table, pull out a 16 foot bong, mm. and just go to town. There's people who do that. that the, those people, kudos to them. If I was, uh, if I was a dictator, they'd definitely be the first to go. Mm. that's a quote from someone wow wait this is not gonna work this why is, would this not work this is so bad this is unlistenable but that's the whole point is like let's hear the inner ramblings of of two people who have partook in this do holiday. you realize how little how do we tell them how little we smoked as well oh this could make it or break it this is gonna probably be the ick for some people a lot yeah guys <laughs> it, i think it was what is it measured in? I think it's a quarter gram. We split that. So we're at three decimal points. Three three digits out from the decimal, you know, 0.0. We're just, what did they call it when you when you can't, your tolerance lightweight. is low? Lightweight. We're lightweights. Because we're God-fearing people and we don't do this. We don't do this often. That's what no. the, like, and I think, I, pe- I think people are bro. confused probably because it's like, wait, how did you guys go to Comic-Con on shrooms? This is what I've, and this is going to be a hot take maybe. I think that mushrooms, magic mushrooms, oh, are, you could definitely talk to are more manageable. Here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This is f- completely inhibiting me from actually functioning normally. No, I'm, oh, this is just try not to get on Uber Eats challenge. Is what this Straight is. up. Straight up. This is, that's what it is. It's like my stomach just starts glowing from the inside and it's like, a, it's a void and you just have to st- start shoving food in there to make me happy. <laughs> that's what it feels like. I don't know if there's like other strains that make you not do that. That'd be kind of cool. I feel, I feel out of my skin and I probably look fine. I don't even want to look at myself. I'm just going to start laughing because I realize what kind of glasses I'm wearing. Pit vipers. And this is something that people actually like wear. Like oh, this is like part of a style. Too. Put on the pits. Watch so what is it for? Skate, skateboarding? I think snowboarding as well. Skateboarding, I think it would be a little bizarre. <laughs> Pit vipers. No, you can use them for anything. I think like their whole thing is that you use it for any activity. So barbecuing. This is something a dad would barbecue in. Oh, okay. Just because of the sparks and the smoke that comes at you. Yeah. Podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> From the fire or spitting. You can add that to your list, Pit Viper. Um... <laughs> I just created a whole brand for them. Like they were just some random glasses. Hey, Pitfire, say just thank hire you us. Later. Say thank you later, bro. <laughs> That's what you hit them with. Thank just, me later after saying podcast. No, this is gonna. This they're fully gonna click our description, open it up, expecting there to be some sort of like Pit Viper brand deal link. No, no one's. Expect- That's but that's how you. stupid that was. 
<laughs> it's like we just put a pause and we're just like, let's do a Pit Viper advertisement. <laughs> no, so bad. Scooby Doo, so freaking bad. So Coachella, man, what did you? Th- <laughs> hey, no fighting. Do you know why? Do you know why we didn't do this yesterday? We didn't even explain. They're probably like, why wouldn't you do it on Fourth Twenty? Dude, I was busy. You were busy. Yeah, I was at Mandy's grandma's birthday. Oh yes, and it was freaking awesome. It was her 80th birthday. She could have used some of this. Her grandma or Mandy? Oh, Mandy could use a lot more. This really? Put okay, well... I've never hung out with her. What did I just say? You've never hung out with who? Oh, well, uh, Mandy while she was high. I, I don't know. I, that's a rumor? I didn't know she, she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't that's do very, that. Yeah, that's very divine feminine. I think, I've, I think I've only... Yeah, no, it's just... I don't think she... I don't recall the last time that she's ever done that. Well, good. I mean, her grandma's not watching. Like, sorry, grandma. Her grandma probably does. Well, she. Know, well, how was it? Describe She's just so chill. Just so describe to me what it was like. I pulled up Your cat's to a sink. nice home Your full cat's of in the sink. Oh, fish! Get out of the sink! Come on, get out! Your no, sink. you oh. too. Oh, come up here, Carl. Come on, come here, Carl. Okay, look. <laughs> How was Mandy's grandma's birthday, 80th birthday, in high terms? Freaking legendary. It was Why? lit. Why? Because there was like... Your cat's in your cup. Because Mandy essentially... It was at her aunt's house. <laughs> oh, this is really hard. All these distractions, everything. Carl, just almost knocked down the light. <laughs> Just get through this fucking boring story. Hey. (laughs) All right. Okay. It was really fun. And we wrote in a journal, um, 16 reasons why we love her grandma. Oh, that's nice. And you want me to name a couple just so you get the gist of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, essentially, me and Mandy. Why 16? Because there was a bunch of other kids that were doing 16 as well. (laughs) So we could get to like 100 or something. (laughs) 100 reasons why we love Mandy's grandma. Sorry, Corey or Carl. Just <laughs> what am I, dude, this house is impossible to do this in <laughs> because there's animals just jumping around. Dude, that's why we have to go to a zoo. I do not need to go to a fucking zoo. I just ran into the wall, point blank. Wait, really? I just ran across the whole thing and just landed myself on the wall. That's what I was t- literally right Dude. before we recorded, Marin. I knew you were high when this happened. You just turned to me and you're like, "I think Carl is stupid." Yeah, like no, you know when you you know when people playfully say their pets are stupid. Yeah, and they're like, oh, "He's so dumb." Whatever. Mm-hmm. I like said that to Carl, and because I was high, I overanalyzed what I just said, and I'm like, "Oh man, wait! I just called you stupid because you really are stupid. What Carl does is not normal." When you go up to him and you put on your little bo- baby voice and go, Carl, oh, Carl. Right, right. You know how a normal cat would walk up to your leg and, like, nudge you? Mm. Carl starts the nudging process before even moving. So he just, like, nudges and then it almost falls over. No, he's dumb. Look at him. He's running and slamming himself into a wall. <laughs> and Fish is, like, just watching him. And it was, like, cute as a child. It was kind of cute as a child, like, as a kitten. Mm. But you're getting older, Carl. Why are you still yeah. doing that? It's the way you treat him, you you know, in some way. I babied him too much. Mm -hmm. You were, he was suckling with you for like a couple couple more months. Oh, fish. Carl, we didn't, uh, we didn't breastfeed Carl. (laughs) He was on formula. (laughs) Got it. He does. He looks like a formula baby. (laughs) Dude, I don't know if I should be offended or not. Are you a formula baby? No, I think I'm breast. Oh, for sure, I'm breast. I'd be pissed if I found out I was. Formula. It's like the new circumcised and uncircumcised formula. Yo, are you formula or not? Yeah, but your parents can just lie. Why would they lie? To make you feel good about yourself. Everybody wants to be a no formula baby, right? Did you ever? What suck about your- the ones that only drink like water? You know how you know you were a formula baby if you suck your thumb, or not now, but like. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, why did my finger taste like that? Why do I taste metally? Martin, that's so bad. I don't know. Iron I could tell deficiency? you why. Iron I, could t- deficiency? I actually could tell you exactly why. What? But you sure you want it out there? <laughs> what are you going to say? That I haven't said to myself 10 feet in front of a mirror. Did you not just walk Rudy? 
Whoa. <laughs> and what? He pooped and I picked it up? That's what it is. It's in my fingernails? Yeah. I told you, you need to use plastic whenever you pick <laughs> it up. <laughs> I can't, bro. No, I didn't pick up Rudy's shit with my bare hand. <laughs> it's out there now. Now everybody knows your secret. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I picked up Rudy's. Yeah, so funny. So funny. Want me to tell them what you do in private? I don't do anything like that. In oh. private, you like to sit on your bidet and you don't even have to poop. And you turn that crap to max. You turn the bidet to max. Yeah, I you don't. do. You told me that. I don't. I would get a <laughs> hernia. Do. But in private, you said it's worth the hernia. Hashtag worth the hernia. <laughs> no, and then you take the poop up to the sixth floor and you just throw it in the <laughs> toilet. It's like the weirdest thing ever. Well, yeah. Like, why would I? Why would I waste like garbage? Why would I put it in my garbage? Watch out, because you just—that was very convincing. How you just came in. I know. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I flush it down the toilet like every every. It's been poop two to go. minutes. Stop saying that, bro. <laughs> No, but it has only been 11, and I feel like we've talked about eight. I thought so far, I'm so high that I think that this is the best podcast ever. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> so not there. Uh, I'm like, best podcast ever. <laughs> I would listen to this. And we're just like talking Name about. Name one thing we've talked about Mandy's grandma, and I was trying to tell you like all about it. Oh, yeah. She's awesome, dude. Like, she. do you want to know some of the reasons why we love her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're at 16. I interrupted okay. You. One time, Mandy's grandma let us stay at her house when we wanted to get fish neutered. That's nice. And we got to sleep. We got to sleep there. And we got to, like, hang out and play, like, board games and stuff. With your grandma? With Mandy's grandma. But I guess that's... Or with Mandy's grandma. Sorry. Can, can I call her my grandma? Comment down below if he can call... Can you call, is it, ladies and gentlemen, is it... You know what you can do? Yeah, you can go directly grandma because that's what she is. I would even look, you call her grandma. What you can't do is hop on whatever main. I'm curious. I'm curious what they let think. Let me finish my thought. What you you didn't let me finish mine. <laughs> I, don't give, I don't care about your thought. <laughs> really? What you can't do is say what Mandy calls her grandma. What does she... She probably has some funky thing. She calls her Gammy. I call her Gam Gam. So I've already established a nickname for her. You can't do that. Really? You got to go grandma. Grandma. It's illegal or something? Grandma's like, hi, grandma. Is it illegal because it insinuates incest or something? You're not part of that club. Uh, no. Because it's like, why, like, me and Mandy are dating. I can't have the same grandma as her. Wait, can you? Can two people be in love and have the same grandma? I say <laughs> <laughs> no, Martin. Really? Because then, you can't be in Really? Because then how are you born? <laughs> I don't know. I was setting up like a punchline. I just want to set up a little punchline. You warm-blooded. What was it? The one we came up with yesterday? You warm-blooded. Oh, calling someone a warm-blooded animal. <laughs> no, we weren't even. We weren't high yesterday too. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm saying this from the perspective: if I was a grandpa, right, mm -hmm. and my grandkids call me pee pee or whatever, if. My granddaughter brings this random boy. He come in, call me pee pee. Hell no, nah. mm. that's for my kids. I'm grandpa to you. So to like, so to like, grandchildren that you don't really mess with, you kind of like just say grandpa for them. No, no. If a grand, if one of my grandchildren brings like a boyfriend, like someone who's not, that's so weird. That's what I would do well, personally. No, because my grandpa, for some reason, I always had to call him grandpa, but my brother was able to call him like <laughs> something else. Well, that's not what I'm saying. That sounds like you got favorites. Papa got favorites. Really? What'd your What'd your brother call him? He was. Well, I don't even know. He had like nicknames. Oh, he didn't even tell you. No, he had nicknames for him. Like it was like, but I didn't know that they were even in a conversation. Like he would just randomly like. Oh man, you're so left I'm, out. I'm like outcasted. They don't like you at all. It's okay. I you love have them. Secret codes to talk about each other, endearment that you don't know about pet names. Well, people have favorites in families. Like you're not gonna all love your family equally. What did you do to? I always got that feeling from you. I like my mom more than my dad. I always got the feeling that your brother's the star of the family, not you. He is. <laughs> he is. But look, it's fine. It's fine. Now I can say like, hey, I'm a podcaster. I've a podcast. Yeah, it's not getting better. So I'm saying. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Well, actually, no. My brother, my brother is a star. He's like really good at sports. He's really smart. Hurt you? He's really, 
Actually, he's like in all ways better than me. <laughs> I just thought about it for a second. I'm like, yeah, he's probably better than me. He's YouTube 2.0. Dude, if he starts a YouTube channel, it's over. Mm. It's over. Everyone's going to go subscribe to him. Does that scare you? That your brother's better than you and everything? No, because guess what? This is my plan. Garner a huge audience. Mm. If that ever happens, Can't there's totally. definitely some people in there that would relate to me. Being the outcast sibling. And they can come subscribe to my own channel. So your plan is if he gets a channel, you get all the losers. Yeah, I guess. When you put it like that. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yeah, but that's okay. Look, everyone's going to have that with siblings. Like, one's going to be better than you. Like, there's better siblings than you. You're not, all, you're not the same. Logan Paul or Jake Paul? Yeah, well, Logan has done more. So you would rather go Logan Paul there? I'd go Logan Paul. What's that's the next clip. one? That's a clip What's right the there. Next I was one? lining this up. Next one. Um, I almost said Ben and Jerry's. Jerry all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ben... He's the first, you know? He's definitely the leader of that. Like Ben also does sound like the most alpha name yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with the alpha. You, you mean a dude named Ben? No, I would be Jen. Yeah. Or What's Jen? up? I'm Ben. And it's like everything, everything's Stops. still quiet. <laughs> and I'm Jerry. <laughs> yeah. And Jerry comes from behind him. Hey. Uh, I can't think of another brother duo. S yeah. <laughs> There's ours. Yeah. Dolan twins? <laughs> Ethan, I'm, mm. I'm taking Grayson all all day. Which one dated Emma Chamberlain? <laughs> Is that like a known thing? I don't know. Did you just leak something? Nobody I knew. Know. I thought they were hanging out his little thing. News. Six years later, the truth surfaced. No, I think they're actually both happily mar married. So yeah, they're twins. It makes sense. They're equal. That's true. Married to each other. <laughs> no, no, they have wives, dude. What? Yeah, they're married. Do they all live together? Why would they live together? Why would they do that? Why would you do that? Because you can't separate twins. Like really? You can't? Because, damn. Okay, well, yeah, then they live together. Oh, except me and my twin. Wait, you have a twin? See, people don't know. Who's your twin? You don't have a, you don't have a twin? Is every family supposed to have a twin? Why are you asking like that? No, but I feel like nobody knows. I feel like I told everybody. I have two brothers, two sisters. One of my brothers is my twin. What's his name? I don't want to leak it. There's some scary people out there. You have a twin? Why have you never said anything? Nobody asks. What? Does he look like you? Mm-hmm. Identical. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at you and, and duplicated you twice, and I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> you might have seen him before. I, I literally <laughs> just imagined him next to you, and I was like, hell nah. If you there was two of you, bro, you'd, you'd have to, like, split your personalities, like... I have too many. You have too much. Saying? You have too much personality for one human. Oh, that's such a nice thing to say. <laughs> well, I think me too, or like I think I think there's like people with really strong personalities that couldn't possibly have a twin because they're just too strong for themselves. <laughs> is that what that means? Strong? Yeah, I would actually be so scared of meeting another me. <laughs> the exact same. We would have like a like a, bro, a, a no, synonym off, bro. No, Hamza, you don't even understand. If you were duplicated. Like, I'd probably hang out with you and your twin, right? Yeah. If I'm friends with you, I'm probably going to be friends with your twin, most likely. So imagine two of you sitting here, and we did an out-of-character podcast, and there was two You would lose every argument. I would just get pummeled. <laughs> I'd just get pummeled. I'd say something stupid. I'd, like, slip up, bro. I'd be like, ah, uh, we're, we're at word, or something like that. And you'd be like, ah, ah, ah. And then the dude next to you would do the same thing. I feel like we'd give you a swirly. <laughs> Me and my twin would definitely give you a swirly. <laughs> you pissed me off. <laughs> I'm just what kind of friendship dynamic is that? It's just two fucking bullies in a ring. You just dude. can't leave. You just can't. <laughs> Sick, dude. <laughs> You're like, no, I feel like we'd come in and just like open your fridge. Dude, it's all fun and games until you fucking duplicate me. <laughs> that I feel like would be fun. I think I think one would get overstimulated. You know, you know like, what would freak me out is that you'd each validate in each other's anxieties true like it'd be the most anxious duo <laughs> yeah. ever no it'd be the worst hangout because well, i'd be, be like, like wait oh my god do we look like dumb right now another one like yeah bro i think we do yeah it'd be like I the worst just, thing you could like, say when you're high oh yeah oh i would not get high with you you hell no bro want to watch 9 11 documentary that's like <laughs> what they would suggest and my then twins and then i'd be like 
And then you both laugh at the same time. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy what could happen if we, there was a twin of us, man. No, the fun we would have. Don't get me started now. But look, you then this is like little. us. Honestly, this is really insensitive because there's probably twins that really d are super different, different from their other twin. Yeah. But there's some that are very much the same. Like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Or are they the same? How many twins is that? <laughs> Mary Kate, Ashley, and Olsen? Wait. Four? <laughs> quadruplets? I don't know any quadruplets off the top of my head. Oh, Sterniolos. That's triplets. Or should I say... They're vastly triplets. different from each other, right? Or like one's kind of an alpha, one's... One's gay. One's, um, I think, into the... Into neutral, neutral. Neutral, chaotic, neutral. Yeah, something like that. It's very... Actually, it's very complex. Their personalities are very complex. <laughs> yeah. It's but like, but you know what? I feel like they did the, the thing you were suggesting where they split parts of their personalities into three. It's kind of like, like... they could merge into like one more And he'd be like... Individual. Yeah. And that person would be crazy. Oh, I'd, I'd probably worship him. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> probably be like... It's the, like the you prophet. find all three pieces, combine it together and Exodia. get the... Exodia. Yeah. Is that what it's called? <laughs> And what would his name be? Mart or Mark or something like that. It would be like it would be like Ben. It would be Ben. Oh, that's Ben. Yeah. Ben. All th all three. If you take Matt, um, Chris, <laughs> Chris, and Kramer, <laughs> Kramer's their fourth aborted brother. <laughs> Kramer. You said Craner? Kramer. You said Kramer. I did, but I thought I heard Craner, and I'm like, that's where I draw the line. Dude, put the ster sternules all together. You get Ben. Put them in a circus, bro. Really? They would do Why? something cool. Oh. Put them, you tell someone to put them in the circus. <laughs> that's really mean. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't even realize how mean that is. It's like, it's like the circus where you'd have like the bearded lady and stuff like that. No, the that's not what I meant. No, that's not what I meant. Well, that's what it came across as. Don't say that. I meant like... <sighs> Not too much. NTM on the Sterniolos. NTM. NTM on the Sterniolos. And then my new EP, bro. Which is something they should start doing. Music. What the hell? I just, like... What? Discovered something crazy. If oh, they, they should do Put music? them in a freaking boy band. Backstreet Boys style. Backshoot. <laughs> One Direction. We have... When's, what's the next boy band? Oh, you're right. They're all Korean. All the, all the boy bands are Korean, aren't they? They are. K-pop. That's all of K-pop. Boy bands, girl bands. We need, we need, we need one that can represent our continent. Because mm. if there was a, if there was a, a, a boy band war, an international boy band war, Korea would win. As they always we, do. What's the, what's the boy bands that we have right now in on this side of the world? The nineteen seventy five. Is that one guy? Is that the one with the creep? No, he doesn't sing creep. That's Radiohead. No, what's the one? Is that another boy band? That might be a boy band. I think um, well, we had One Direction. Oh, wait, no, that's UK. No, they all died or something. Like, it's gone. Oh, it's true. Just Harry Styles remaining. Damn it, it's the worst. I would rather have Zayn over him any day. Um, Pillow talk. Climb on board. Do you know that one? Pillow talk. Um, Zane. You're losing me. Zane. <laughs> it's me, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, talk. <laughs> that, that Zane, that Zane at the freaking recording studio. Come on, let me in, guys. You don't remember my hit song, Pillow Talk? And he just busts it off. <laughs> no, he just has nothing right now. Does Zane have any music oh, right now? Oh, Pillow Talk. Give me more. Climb on board. He says that. I don't sound like a real song. Can you play it? I miss your phone. Why are we not using your phone? Yeah, where's my phone? I got mine. Whoa, this really is a weird podcast. I'm the one on the phone. <laughs> Whoa, don't use pit vipers while operating a phone. Why? Let's just say... It looks really awkward. Yeah. Um, we got boy bands. We got... Um, Can I play this or copyright? A copyright, without a doubt. But oh. I know the song. I already, oh. I already got it. Okay. <laughs> Pillow talk. It's more like that. Climb on board. Oh. Yeah, 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 something like I don't know why he says climb on board, but that's fire. 
Fire lyric. No, that one was a big one. I remember that. That was a time and era, and he 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 did something there for sure. He did. Yeah. Actually, but. it's this is like a theory of mine. Is anytime like a boy band splits or like people decide to go solo, mm. their first song is always a banger. Mm. It's always so good. And then after that, they realize why they enjoyed it the whole time was because with, with friends. friends, friends. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck, One Direction? Grow up. Get back together. What the hell are you guys who doing? Split? It was Zayn. He's only split. Zane. That's why he's the most sad. Yeah, and like what? Pillow talk? You're done, boy. Get back in the band. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Get back in there. Isn't it crazy they said temporary when they announced it? What? They didn't say it was a permanent leave. They said a temporary break. So there's still people. So there's a chance that people getting, yeah. So you're edge. saying there's a chance. Well, I'm not, well, hey, I'm not saying all that. Look, this is the time then. Sterniolo, start a boy band. Mm. Capitalize on this empty void Fan that we band, have yeah, yeah. yeah these people people are waiting running around clueless i need a boy band i need a boy band start one and oh. let me in on 20 percent. brock hampton brock hampton are they a boy band yeah all boys dude i've never heard Bro- brock hampton i don't think i've never listened to brock, brock hampton. hampton they got 13 people in their band name one song by brock hampton ginger how does it go i think that's an album actually how does it go because i don't know any brock hampton songs is that the usually go? Oh, is it? Like it's funky, kind of? Yeah. Did they collab with Bruno Mars and make that one song? Downtown. Or is that Mac- Macklemore? Downtown. Macklemore. Dude, are they radio people? No, absolutely not. Further, Furthest from that. Because I always see them mentioned everywhere. Brockhampton, Brockhampton. It's like, what happened there? It what, had an impact. It's like you walk into a, like a freaking... Like, do you know Reg- like Reg- someone Reg- dropped a nuke on an air, on a village, mm. and you go and see who's like remaining. That's what Brockhampton seems like. Because half of them did get nuked, metaphorically, because they were bad people, I think. I don't know, actually. I know at least one of them. It was very bad. This is what happens when you get info 13 from, guys. from, from Twitter I'm, and internet. Like, not, I don't know. I'm not going in on 13 guys, or... Like as a like I'm not gonna split my revenue thirteen times on a on a band. That's kind of ridiculous. That's what I was I was thought about. What I was gonna say was, did you know Rex Orange County? Where is that? Rex Orange County, another band. Like in Florida? Oh, it's a f- band from Florida. Rex Orange County. I don't know what the I don't know the name. I don't know where it came. Okay, from. and what about him? Did you? It's a band. Multiple? What about the like boy band? Or are you saying like just instruments? I'm saying that was of the era as well of um. Brockhampton. So, okay. so you didn't know neither? No. Did you know Cuco? No, now you're making up stuff. Cuco? That's three of them. Those those are a bunch that came together. And Claire From Brockhampton? No, no, Cuco's oh. on his own. I think that's how you say it. Mm. And then almost Claro kind of edged that demographic, but she went to do better and bigger mm. things. Music, bro. I love music, man. Look at that. Music discussion. From music discussions to... Basically NFR... We're flowing through this, actually. This is very easy. How long has it been? <laughs> Holy. How long? 20 minutes. <laughs> You're lying. 28. Oh, well, that's a, why are you trolling me? Well, th- it's troll. not 30 minutes yet. We still got another. Almost there. It's okay. My God. It's not that I want it to end. It's just like I'm, st- I'm just gawking at the fact that these convos feel like they're hours long. I felt like we talked about the Sterniolos for an hour. Yeah, I remember your grandma when we talked about that. How long was that? A long time ago. Really? Feels like it. But no, that was yesterday. I do want to emphasize why this is also like extra funny, I think, to us, is that um, we are so busy. This might be like one of my top three busiest mm-hmm. weeks of my entire life. And we blocked out time to <laughs> commercially get high. We're just so like, why do we do that? Why do we never think ahead to do things? Oh, Why we, do we no, we still have a lot of stuff we're, like made to do today, so we're we're, we're gonna have to get. But to we're work. so like I, you know why it's because we're doing it ourselves. If it was if we had any help, maybe it'd be easier. But <laughs> why are we doing this ourselves? Do everything ourselves, bro. <laughs> Dude, I want to be like Logan Paul. No, he has assistants doing Don't everything ever for say him. Say that again, bro. Okay. You can never have an assistant. You can't. You cannot. Mandy. Okay, that's an easy one. Yeah. Okay. Can she be my assistant? If we get her out of the freaking hospital, then she can be our assistant. Perfect. That's what your mom would be That's what freaking what's-his-name did to David Dobrik. Did that to Natalie? Natalie's what, an assistant? And she dates Todd? That's her job. 
Yeah, I mean, you just can't say my I'm getting my assistant to do it. It's over. It's, it's yeah, true. It feels bad, it. but it's but instead of saying assistant, it's like, oh, Mandy, can you do this? And also, she gets paid for it. She already does it for free. <laughs> I, we were like, Mandy, are you like laughing like you you got a scam out? Yeah, no, it's just no, but I'm just like I'm just saying she already helps us out. Mandy, please be in a Sims video. We need views. And she's like, okay. She's like, fine. All right. Like I I know, but do? I know she secretly enjoys it. Oh, yeah. not her exposed things. That's her biggest fear. People. She know loves she doing that. She loves things. to like hide how much she enjoys it. I know. I'm kind of like that too. Because I know she enjoys being in a relationship with me, <laughs> but she just hides it really well. <laughs> Oh, the fact that even came up in your mind is that you really thought that for a <laughs> sec. She just hides. She just hides how much she she's loves me. Hiding all the nice words that she's gonna tell me one day, and she's saving them all up. No, Mandy's great. Mandy's great because I feel like I, I'm like I don't know to everyone else. She's so like cold. Mm. People actually get scared of Mandy when they first meet her. How she long has it took for she me has to look at her in the eyes, bro. It took like a week. Yeah, she's very scary in the sense that she's very like confident. And so when I kind of like got through that little, because she left a little opening for me. It was like, hey, come on in. Confidence thing, so that you break it down. So I came in and I and I, I like Trojan horse her. I came in and I was like, what's up? I'm here. Oof. What? Like the wording. (laughs) Like what's it called when they snuck into the base? Never good a Trojan horse a woman in any capacity. Oh, you know what that sounds like? It sounds like Trojan the condom brand. That's and then what, it starts getting into sexual innuendo. That's, that's not. Me, that's what got me confused. Ooh. No, because there, what there was a Trojan horse that entered a fort. Metaphorically. Okay, metaphorically, <laughs> yes. And then You're now, like, I, and now I have like access to her like love, warm, <laughs> her love. Yeah, her do warm you love. Miss your girl. Do you miss her? I do. <laughs> it's been like three hours. I do. She's at work. <laughs> You think I want to be here? I thought. I thought no. No, of course I love being on the podcast, but I do miss her. You know, you're, it hits you midday. Midday, that's when it hits you. No, I saw it in your face when you were like this. <laughs> ah. Of course you. No, we were gonna do this with Mandy. That's that's why. what I was saying. But now that I think about it, it would have been miserable for. That's she just works, me. dude. I barely see her. I see her more. I see you more than her. I know. Mandy, That's the way I, that was my plan. I'm like, Manny, can we hang out today? She's like, I'm working. <laughs> bro, what the hell? <laughs> You're the unemployed friend on a Tuesday, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to your own girl. <laughs> I'm You're like, bro- ooh, I'm new boyfriend. bakery. I, I'm broke boyfriend. I'm broke boyfriend, bro. <laughs> new bakery down the she street. Comes, she comes home and she's like staring at me and I'm like sitting here high recording a podcast with my friend. Like, Imagine her telling that to someone. No, it's so bad. Imagine she meets someone. Oh my god! Like, oh, you have a boyfriend? Yeah, yeah, I have a boyfriend. Like, he's sitting at home in pit vipers with his friend, and he like recording. does this thing where it, she doesn't explain. She was, it does this thing where it's like on YouTube. Yeah, she's yeah. making. She's just doing you no favors whatsoever. No, she like when she actually explains it because when when we were at the birthday party, oh. there's a lot of family members there, and they're like, "Oh, what do you do? What do you do?" And I was like, and you were like, uh, 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 and she was like, "So let me step in." <laughs> yeah, and then Mandy just like makes it sound cooler. <laughs> Well, she has to now. Now it matters what she says. <laughs> Turn around, grandma. She was actually stressed out about who she freaking brought home. Yeah. No, I w- I really want to have Mandy's grandma on the podcast. That'd be great. Oh, that'd be nice. But did she kind of poke her brain? Yeah, just in terms of what? Well, well, didn't she live through some probably significant time? Something. I don't know. Like uh, Malcolm X. I don't know what that was, but maybe like. You don't know Malcolm X. Well, you made it sound like it was an event. Oh, oh, oh. I think I know Malcolm X. Do I? I, I would like a movie. Um, whew. well, so you are Canadian, so you will get some sort of pass on this. But he's like MLK level. Well, impact. Really? What did he do? In the same kind of moment, there, oh. civil rights. Civil rights. Malcolm X did civil rights. Mm-hmm. So why do I, why didn't I learn about him? I guess it's a U.S. thing. We learned about Martin Luther King, but I never learned about no Malcolm X. He is kind of. He was the more, wow, I can't believe, I'm not going to educate you right now. This is crazy. You don't have to, I'll research. No, not on you. It's but just, I'll do my own I'm research. I'm just thinking optics here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. 
like for them, the listeners, they probably know, dude. Like a high guy trying to explain who Malcolm X is is probably not the way. Well, this is like that serious phase of being high is where you like start getting oh, you're into right, like... You're right, you're right. It's almost like debates and stuff. <laughs> That's when the high starts to wear. Lex Reedwin comes out. Yeah, no, <laughs> okay, I'll right look getting. into Malcolm X. I've definitely heard the name, but I just... He was like the more radical uh, person in the, in the Okay, movie. So he like was like, he was like, we don't, we're not negotiating like... We're gonna kill people for this, or okay, that's well, whatever. Like he was, a, he has, he had an aggressive, more yeah, aggressive. Yeah, I think approach. he was a Black Panther. I think was, but they uh, all were doing the same goal, right? Black Panthers. It was all like, oh, I'm missing this up. Was it all the? I need to look this up. Were they all working towards the same goal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Or they had like the same goal, but they had different ways of doing it, and okay. they they actually did Loki clash, but they also had moments together. Okay, it's kind of like also, yeah. may I haven't I haven't been in a classroom since. 2020 so well, dude this is the beauty of freaking podcasts is you can say stuff and then people can you know 2019 comment and be like hey this is what happened yeah, that's what you'd think would happen right well that's how i that's, that's how, how i, I wish it worked too hey by the way well, dude what do they say there's no stupid questions if you're in a class right now and you ask hey who's malcolm x like your teacher would not laugh at you would they maybe a little it depends bit depends on where you're at and what classroom if okay you're in <laughs> calculus <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but you can ask and they'll answer. So it's like, that's how, yeah, you can only find out. I feel like we're super slouched. I don't think I've ever been oh. so slouched. On well, it the feels phone. good to be like in like the I couch. I looked at the viewfinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm crying, bro. We probably look ridiculous, but that's okay. I have to look up what group he was part of. Was it, was it Black Panther? What group was Malcolm X in? The Nation of Islam. He was Muslim? Plot twist. I actually already knew that. Um, let's ask Siri. What was the Black Panther organization? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real. Black Panther Party. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, don't look at a screen with sunglasses. This is cool. The rainbow. That's what I was saying. That's what you got? Yeah. Whoa. So what's the Black Panther Party? Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> the Black Panther Party was a revolutionary party founded in 1966 in Oakland. The party's original purpose was to patrol African American neighborhoods to protect residents from acts of police brutality. Okay. Like that's badass, you know? It's yeah, like, it's crazy. The Panthers eventually developed into a Marxist revolutionary group uh, that called for arming oh, all. Oh, like Marxist, like communis communism. Mark, yeah, I and guess at that so. time, people did not like. I them. was really like crazy yeah. back then. Arming, uh, in in it was right, and they armed all African Americans. The exemption of African Americans from the draft and from, and from all sanctions of so-called white America. The release of all African Americans from jail, and the payment compensation to African Americans for centuries of exploitation by white African or Americans. Um, at its peak, it had about two thousand people. Damn, this is base as hell. What the hell? It's crazy. But then why didn't I, not, like, why wouldn't they teach it in school? Is that something, like, like schools would probably not want to teach? The exact, they do. There's little whispers of it. Because it was like MLK was the <coughs> main guy, right? I think the crazy part is if, if it's taught, then people would realize, like, oh. Oh, this shit sucks. Oh, what's Loki being asked for now is, like, what they've been asking for for so long. Like, the, mm. the, the giving money back for the. Yeah, like, reparations. The reparation so? stuff. Damn. The based one is the draft one. That's that, that's hilarious. And this is all like U.S. Like you America. Be, oh, jeez. That's maybe bad wording. What? I just said the based one of that is the draft one. That's hilarious. That's just brain rot. You're just speaking in brain rot. The based one. Man, I want to take that one back. God, <laughs> please let people understand. Dude, it's fine. A good place. Okay, so... Okay, that's hilarious. I can't call one of the rules hilarious. I can't. Did you mean it in a positive way? So can you give me a room here to apologize and say something? Okay, go. Or you tell me you started off. Okay, just why did you say that? I had no clue. What? Like, I'm high. Okay. Did you mean it? Did you mean it? No, I didn't mean it. And so now, in essentially you were just talking to talk. Yeah. I know. So don't do that. There you go. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Now, that's all in America. Yeah. So so Canada just has, like, no lore almost. Like, it barely has any lore. I'm just realizing how new we are. You might need an apology after that one, too. Really? No, I meant, I meant like, just, like, so much has happened in the U.S. I feel like not 
much has happened in Canada. Like, there's still events, like, that happen. But I'm saying, like, Canada's very young, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, extremely young. Like, Calgary's, like... it's that. America's been around for so long. America's been around since um, 1896. Right? When was America founded? 1776. So, I was off a couple hundred or a hundred years, but I had the 76. Dude... I saw a thing at Mandy's grandma's birthday party. It was like a chart that said her um, year she was born, and it said all the little interesting facts back then. That's what I was up looking for. Yeah, yeah, it's so cool. It was like 1944. What did they have back then? Oh. And okay. it was like bread was 10 cents. Ugh. A dozen eggs was 55 cents. 55 cents, bro. That's actually kind of a lot back then. But still, 55 cents. Like just I, I'm thinking of our times. But listen... There were so many cool things there, and like 1944, it said population of Canada was like 1 million. When was she born? Hold up. She was in the 11 1800s? million. 11 million. Oh. 11 million. Population of all of Canada, 11 million. Mm. Now there's that in Toronto. But dude, it's only increased to 33 million. Yeah. We only have 33 million people that live in Canada, dude. That's the same population as California. No, that's insane. Wait, there's California. so many people in, in the world. On? In the world, bro. What's going on? There are 10 Canadas. Bro. Are we overpopulating? I think we already talked about this the last podcast. 1.3 billion divided by 33 million. There's 40 Canadas in China. Are you serious? Deras. Bro. We lose. We lose everything, bro. Dude, We're if we ever went to war with China, it's over. Why do? <laughs> why did we feel like we had a chance? That's so silly. No, it's, it's ridiculous. They could use one of their cities to take us out. Yeah. Oh, man. They could probably use, like... Oh, it's not even funny no more. That's okay, though. I'm excited for that. They probably instill some very reasonable measures. Will they give me an option to join? Like, oh, hey, yeah, you want to yeah, come sure. to China? They're yeah. No, they'll always get, you know, the first chance. They're not going to give you a lot of chances, but... Like, before they <coughs> end us all? What do we do? We're just no, like they wouldn't end us. They would absorb us and have us do all their... Yeah, 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 probably. Things. Well, that's what countries do, right? They absorb. That's what that's what everyone's malicious goal is, to is just overtake countries. Fortunately. Why? It's all a big game. <laughs> it's all a big game to them, dude. We're so screwed. Yeah, borders mean nothing. They're just like... Yeah, they're man. self-imposed, ridiculous, arbitrary nonsense. We need to remove borders as soon as possible. Let's go back to Pangea. As some <laughs> because it was all connected, so technically we're, we're all the same. And there's be no boats. No boats. That's what ruined everything. As soon as boats. a boat was built, it's over. Uh, Someone who crossed the border, it didn't feel like it. it felt like oh I was yeah. on a walk. Did like it feel like was? Did it feel like anything like? Just felt like I felt like I was a wa- on a walk. And then boom, that's sick. I'm in jail for violating the world order. How young were you? Seventeen. Did you ever ask your younger siblings what that felt like? Did they think that like? Wait, what? It's for the grown ups only. Oh. Well, did you do you feel like you got any superpower after? I'm Canadian now. I'm Canadian. It didn't hit instantly. I hated your. I hate the the. I was like the saddest when I went into a mall and I didn't recognize any of the store names. And I was like, wow, it's really different. I thought it would be pretty much the same. Yeah. I'm like, damn it. No, we got some weird ones here, man. Harvey's. Harvey's, Winners, A&W. Like it, it was all Rogers, Telus. It's like, you know, this means nothing. AI generated. Yeah, you know, they don't. nothing yeah. to everybody, bro. Hey guys, Rogers, Rogers. Rogers, tell us, Bell. And they don't even know what happened to us. The day that the freaking internet went out. <laughs> yeah, the AT and T stuff. What? Dude, it freaking here in Canada, all Rogers lines were down for a whole day. What? For two days. That was probably the same time AT and T was down. Yeah, in my the US. S- wait, in probably owned by the same. AT and T owns it. I don't know, but that but that makes no. sense. AT and T recently. But yeah, that was insane. I was just hooked up to a Rogers thing, and then I couldn't access the internet. And then people were raiding the grocery stores, bro. All it would take is that that happens to all carriers. And then, yeah, people would actually be raiding. Like, hospitals wouldn't work. Probably all connected to some mm. cloud. Like, 
it'd be over. Damn. Well, look, man. I I pray that it doesn't happen. I want it to happen. How many things we talked about that I just don't want to happen? This should happen. People would be back to tending to their gardens and whatnot. No, no, no. I want the opposite. Someone said, I want the opposite. I want to live in a condo building that has a grocery store underneath it that Mm. I can order all my food on Uber Eats and I can scroll in TikTok all day long and get all my information. And then I also want to not shower but use wipes instead of showering. You lost a few at the end there. But what I would say is, um, I had something to say. It's okay. They took it from me. Dang it. That's the life we're headed to, if you didn't catch on to what I was saying. Oh, I got it. Some, like, humanologist or whatever was saying humans would have, like, developed and, like, returned back to the tribe and whatnot during COVID if everybody was on their damn phone. Mm. Like, you know how there was, like, little nibbles of, like, people starting gardens and, like, you know, riding bikes and walking mm-hmm. around? If there was no phones, then it would have just been, like, everyone would have been on the streets. Damn. Like, literally everybody. Damn. Wait, but that's also regardless COVID or not. Mm. Biking is... Biking makes me... Anytime I hop on a bike and it's ride so around, I feel like the world is in a better place. Or, listen, whenever I hop on a bike, You're so I genuinely happy. turn into an environmental a- <laughs> activist. <laughs> I, I'm like, we need more of this. We need more of this. You switch up bikes so everywhere. Much. We so need, fun. yeah. I don't know what's with me. It's like sometimes certain items in this world activate a certain personality trait of mine. Yeah. And you're like, and the funniest thing about it, when that happens to you, you're like, guys, I swear I've been like this forever. <laughs> like, this is me. What you, it's like activating an like, infinity stone yeah. that I have or something. You're like, what? I always talk about bikes and how they're important to <laughs> infrastructure. And I'm a bike guy. We're like, no, you're not. Like, that's the shit you do. <laughs> and with everything, like Dude. freaking grapefruit would get home. You're like, grapefruit. Whenever I go under, I love grapefruit. Y'all don't know that. <laughs> Whenever I go under one of those toll things that we have in Toronto that like pick up the pickup that didn't charge you for driving on the highway, I'm always the one who's like, it activates something. I'm like, oh yeah, like this is like helping our infrastructure <laughs> in our in our town or whatever the fuck. We're just happy you pay taxes. It's all, all real. I get it though. I get what what it's for. Wait, no, it doesn't make... Yeah, taxes... It really helps... You know where it's really, like, that type of stuff is booming is in Croatia. They have so many of those little toll things. Mm. Everyone is, like, agreeing, like, yeah, they do it. And they actually are, and like, building more stuff as a result. And it's obvious. Oh, shit. That they're, like, getting more money to, like, invest in themselves. I think New York uh, recently imposed one in, like, actual Times Square. Like... A like, toll? Uh, like a $25 one. To be in Times Square. Just to drive through. Oh, man. Yeah, because it was, like... Like low key, like at that point, just don't let cars in, make it fully walkable or something. I don't know if it was Times Square, but it was like some well, like the. But isn't it the the? It's like a really big connecting thing, and they need to have it. That's the problem. Is like a, uh for truck drivers, I think it was like twenty five, and they'd be like taking deliveries all the time, and it's mm-hmm. like that's a cost now, like part of your business. You want to you want to. True. An expense now. Dang, there's so many ways to freaking to tax us. Yeah, but there's also many but ways to like avoid it. Goes it. To, but it all goes to a good place, right? Hopefully. Everybody, that's what it's all everybody about. Everybody has to start their own business. Dude, that's the come up, dude. Is everyone starting their own businesses? If someone, but it sucks. Everybody should be like a podcaster. Yeah. It would be terrible. It's fine. But you have a, a sole proprietorship or an LLC. Your own income goes through that. Then your expenses, you, you're just yeah, like yeah, yeah. buying BS around the house. You're like, dude, I needed that for my podcast. They're like, what podcast? Yeah, this thing has no views. Post yeah, month. that's a good way to do it. Like, like be a vlogger, be a this, be a that. Yeah, and then a like vlogger. Like vlog of my new car, and it's like, expense the car. I needed the car for the video, guys. Like, that's so what yeah. Mr. Beast does. If you if y'all don't know, that's what he does. That is what he does. That's what all of them do. But, but some people don't know that. But normal people should just make a terrible. Like, why do you think people buy business. each other those Lambos? Yeah, why sketch? Like, why did sketches get a Lambo? So it's the write off. Because of the write off. And you still pay for it, but it's basically fifty percent off. It's insane. It's insane. So it's like every, that's what's gonna happen. Is everyone's so gonna start doing So tell us about that. this couch, bro. Well, this couch, I, no, this couch I bought. No, this is a write off. Well, yeah, it's a write off, but I still bought it from the business. Well, yeah. So that's the whole thing. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's, I, but so I still this bought is our it. method. I'm saying to, I'm talking about those ones that buy it for the other person. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I mean? Like he's buying a gift for someone. Oh essentially 
but it's going to be written off. Yeah, no, this this right here that what we're sitting on is is out of character. Yeah, this is out of character propriety. Pretty much, yeah. so you, you property, don't even own propriety. it. Right? <laughs> property, you don't own it. So if we Wait, really, yeah, if we split Wait. the company, I could lucky get this. No, you can't. Yeah, no, you can't. Your couch, your couch. No, you can't. It's illegal. It's been fifty minutes. We were well past our time of talking. We're now delving into our a, a segment we do in the end called confessions, advice, Q and A, whatever you want. You know, mm-hmm. you DM out of character pod on Instagram to submit. Also, Patreon. I do exist. It's m- just solos, just me. Not high ever. Um, and I do a weekly podcast there. But not like The Watcher, guys. The wa- What did The Watcher do? I don't know what happened. Big, big controversy there. Confession. When I got my wisdom teeth removed, <coughs> my sketchy Russian dentist, uh, my sketchy Russian... Sketchy <laughs> Russian dentist? You New YouTuber just dropped. I just said Russian. The bro. sketchy Russian dentist. Gave them. <laughs> you read it? I can't read. I'll read it. <laughs> it's because I'm high end dyslexic. Confession: When I got my wisdom teeth removed, my sketchy Russian dentist got them all removed for hundred bucks, by the way, in Toronto. Prescribed me codeine as painkiller. So my mom picked up the prescription, not knowing what it was, and when I read the name, my feet tickled a little, <laughs> and so empty stomach me devoured and passed out in the washroom and started seeing lights. My mom and brother heard the thump and came running and saw me passed out, then decided that maybe the medicine was too strong and said, get rid of it. Long story short, I kept the huge ash bottle of pills and had my share of fun in high school. Not proud of that. Wait, so you just drank codeine like just like that? And pill. Wait. Wait, this is crazy. Wait, is this pills or drinking? Codeine. Said codeine. I thought codeine was a drink. I thought it was lean. Pills, but then they said pills. Oh, pills. my mom and brother heard the thumb and came running and something passed out. Then decided that maybe the medicine was too strong. Get rid of it. She kept the bottle of pills and like and like had fun in high school. Like that was her drug. That's crazy. Did my stomach growl just pick up? So you got the bottle of pills from the do- from the doctor and said I'm gonna have I'm gonna go crazy like. And they just recreationally like uh, yeah. like uh, instead of but you know what you like saved you probably oxy. saved a ton of money. With what? Well, I'm just saying, like, you didn't have to go and buy, like, weed or anything. What are you saying? What did I say? It's not the same. No, I'm saying she said she had fun in high school. She was, like, using those pills to have fun in high school. Fun. Yeah, but that's not it's a, not a money save. You don't say, good thing you saved money. You got a, addicted to I'm opiates. S- Wait, I didn't. <laughs> pills. Not, but it's just codeine, right? No, don't people drink lean? Isn't that like a that's thing? a that's a oxycodone freaking oxys. I bro. can't tell if this is a negative message or a positive one. It's a negative. Oh, it's a confession. Oh, they got addicted to a drug. Oh, maybe I don't know if they're addicted, but they were. They but did. That would do that bad. They just damage. said I did drugs in high school, low key, and you're like, you saved money. Okay, that's good. Croatian, I'm an optimist. You know, I'm an optimist. Croatian <laughs> is what you are. I'm an optimist. <laughs> So what do we say? What do we well, I just say? wanted something positive to maybe come out of that because that was it made me sad. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, uh, you were looking at yeah. Oh, okay. okay, well, I'm, I'm glad you're okay. I don't, they never even said they were okay. This could have ruined them. Hi, guys. Confession time. I've always told my mom I wanted to study medicine at university, but I don't. I don't know how to tell her I'd rather prefer and enjoy studying optometry instead. It's not like she would be mad or anything, but I'm scared to disappoint her, and I don't want to upset her how did you guys tell your parents you were doing tiktok youtube full time <laughs> and how did they react love the podcast keep it up well first of all they reacted like any being going react. from i'm going to be an engineer to podcaster is not the same as medicine to optometry is optometry still medicine <laughs> is it what the you're hell? still better than a lot of people yeah what is optometry it is a salesman of no oh optometry no, is a of glasses. Time. You're a girl. glasses doctor. You still girl, a doctor, are you the type bro? of girl to be like, oh no, I didn't get an A plus, I got an A on my test. Yeah, are you just showing off that you're? What is this? You got optometry, optometry. Like, come on. And then she's like, how did you feel when you told your parents you're gonna be a TikToker? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the like girl, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> she's like teasing us. She's like so. <laughs> Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, me. yeah. Oh, what? I'm just a TikToker, huh? We don't even do. You don't even do it full time. Yeah. Like, 
You didn't yeah. tell your parents nothing. Well, no, I did. Oh. And they were like, "What?" Well, you think I you think I just hit it big on YouTube now? <laughs> what? I was trying to do YouTube like when I was in like grade seven. <laughs> oh, oh, true. I had yeah. like eight failed channels. So they're like, wait, so the thing you've been doing since you were five? Yeah, like that's how they they're like, oh, you're like still delusional. Like I thought this was like a little kid thing. <laughs> like that's why Thomas is the best son. Yeah, because he didn't do that. He actually did it. Like did everything they wanted. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's fine. No. Um. I don't want to hurt your feelings, man. You're still cool she guy. hurt my feelings. She cool hurt my feelings. She did, man. Screw you. But um, no, my parents are not happy and still aren't. And um, yeah. I don't want to tell you. I mean, a first gen immigrant son telling them that's both of us. Yeah. Are we first gen or are they first gen? We're first gen. We're first gen. So yeah, first generations going into TikTok is never a win yeah. for anyone. Shout out to first gens. Hey. The new gens. Ooh. <laughs> new gens mentioned. I think that'll be it, man. I'm good. Uh, I got to pee so bad. Okay. And I, you know what? Props to us. Like, we yeah. powered through this. You know, what are we at? Oh, I don't it's know. It's a minute. It's an hour. Yeah, I'll have to, like I'll have to, we'll have to, like, watch this when we're not and no. just see what's up. Oh, I think it's going to be so cringe. Do you think it's going to be so awful for them? Yeah, I think it's going to be awful for us. Well, that's okay. This is us. Like, this is us. This we'll, is not me. No. I'm saying this is us. Like, I'm not this, fo- like, we're stoners. This is us. No, we're not. That's what I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> All right. Everybody stay safe. We don't condone this. It is illegal in Canada. Bye-bye.